For a moment, I thought I'd be working alone today. <laughs> right, so who's going to volunteer to go up the ladder? I don't mind. I'm not having you flat on your back for Jubilee. I did it at coronation. In an alcoholic stupor, no doubt. Oh, we're young and daft, then. <laughs> ah, can I tempt you, Alan? Well, I I'm afraid it's the old knees. They're, they're not quite what they were. Right. Any volunteers to hold the ladder? Sure. Everything all right, Ashley? <laughs> Could do with an extra pair of hands. Oh, couldn't we all? <laughs> What's this? Water out the tap? What's the matter with fizzy pop and a pie? Well, we're getting fed for now later on. Do you know what Katie is? She's in there waiting for you. Don't be so helpful. Why? Well, if Katie still gets upset about something, you could still be the Queen. Mum, I don't want to be the Queen. Every pretty girl wants to be the Queen. Isn't that right, honey? Would you rather be dead? Yeah, well, I did say every pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Not even bothered. And I thought those two weren't supposed to be seeing each other. I was going to tell Jack. Uh, there's, there's 50 more of these to be made for the street party. Emily, you are using Beth's butter. Get the lardy marge out. You better be positive this time. These things cost a fortune. Andy? Sorry. Well, shall I do it tonight? I can't wait that long. Katie, the hem on your dress needs to be shortened between now and one o'clock. Should have picked the taller girl, then. Still smarting, Viv. I'll see if I can get a minute when I do my dress. I love you. I can't stay here! Well, of course she can, love. Well, not that it's my house. Yeah. Yes, for as long as you need to. We've already said. See, I do live here. I knew I did. Of course you do. You've got nothing to worry about, love. Nothing. Come on, girls. And Stan's got a headache. You sit down here and shut your traps. <laughs> I've dressed them, Gloria. Should be dealing with it now. Oh, they're going to look so cute on the float with Katie. I wish I was queen for the day. I'm supposed to look pure and chaste. No, that's the May Queen. This is June. Any old slapper could do it. Right in front of the fairies, Trisha. <laughs> right. Once more through the itinerary, everyone. Oh. Not again. Come on, folks. There's not enough oxygen in the room for all these lungs. Gloria, the kids are yours until the parade. Oh, I'm very busy. Shame. The photographer's outside. I could just see it. You, Eric, the little ones. <gasps> right, outside. Now, no sticky fingers on the suit. Thank you. Oh, Marlon, Trisha, can you get all this lot down to the village hall? <coughs> Enjoy it while you can, Katie. Hey, you're not trying to get rid of us, are you? I mean, we're playing our part. Yes. Well, could you play it in the bar with a couple of free sherries? Oh, hey, does that mean we get to pour? Oh, well, I don't really drink sherry. Albert, you, you will not. No pint glasses, please, ladies. Right, you look lovely. Very nice. Are you all right, love? Yeah, it's got a bit of a funny tummy, that's all. I think it's nerves. <laughs> so I'm going to look a right prat, aren't I? Possibly. But you're the bonniest looking prat I've ever seen. I know it's all a bit naff, but your dad'll be dead proud. Oh. Was this the crate you wanted taking? Yes. Hi, hey, yeah. Looks smashing, love. I bet that's just what the Archbishop of Canterbury said to Lizzie on the day. Right, here you are. God invented safety pins for a reason. I'm just going to snog a fella in the cellar for five minutes. is close to cars, love. There's a lot of kids running about in that. Oh, we've come over from Robblesfield. They're not doing out. Yeah. Well, you can still stay. Now, park it through there and uh, walk down the hill. How much is it? Uh, 50 pence in. Aye, 50 pence in and a pound to get out. Jesse James would have been proud of us. <laughs> I've always supposed to be celebrating that, that Rockfort cheese thing. Aye. Well, we were, now we're celebrating the Rockford car park. Jeez, is off. <laughs> Get the money, Sam. 
Harry Partridge, MP. Oh, Jack Dingle, businessman. Big smiles, everyone. Say cheese. Cheese? cheese. <laughs> nice idea, Gloria. Yeah. Any sign of Christate yet? I haven't heard a word. So, what's next? Uh, meet and greet with Harry Partridge, MP, on the stage in ten minutes. Oh. Well, come on, let's go. What about these? I think the fairies have served their purpose. <laughs> Katie! Come on, love. Beer takes less time to brew. I'm coming. I couldn't stay in there any longer. Do you think she'll snap out of it? Well, I wouldn't put it to her like that. She might just snap. I keep thinking of something physical. Thinking or hoping? I don't know. Maybe I really can't handle the situation. I mean, we've both been in stakes before, but when it comes down to it, she's always been the stronger one. But why don't you just go and sit with her? And say what? Where is she? Well, she's in the living room. Can't hear the telly blaring. Look, Chris, um, we're supposed to go to the village, that Jubilee thing. Gloria's been up phone again. What do you think? Well, she can't be left in her own. Well, we're the sponsors of the events. Oh, no way. Not by myself. Well, OK, sure, in glory and cry off. Well, I don't know. Why is everybody looking at me? <whistles> Who's the supermodel? Shut up, Bob. Shake your face, Bob. I thought Katie was meant to be the belle of the ball. There's a very important job being understudy. Katie might fall off the float and break her legs. <laughs> yeah, you wish. The other girl's not out yet. Should I take some of you? No, thanks. Yes, please. And me. Oh. Get in. They're free. Prepare to be dazzled, everyone! Oh! Yeah. oh. Yeah. We know Dolly's the best looking girl in the village, love. That's all that matters. No, I'm gonna wish I was you. Uh, joke. You'll never hang on to her. Kids of today. No stamina. Get rid of this for me. What is it? What do you think? Is it yours? Have you weed on it? I'll grow up, Donna. I'm gonna have a baby. Are you mad? Well, it doesn't matter what they say. We're gonna be parents. They're gonna have to take us seriously now. What, so you've told your dad? You're not so brave now, are you? It's gonna go ape, you stupid fool. Donna! Donna! Are you in there? Please don't say anything, Donna. Not yet. What's going on? I better go. Rubbing salt in your wounds, is she? You're the only one that's bothered, Mum. Come on. What's that? What? Whatever you've got behind your back. It's just my hands. Give it here. Mum, shut up. Where's Bob? No, it's not what you think. You're just a baby yourself and I'm too young to be a granny. Mum, stop shouting. Two blue lines, Donna. I do watch the adverts, I'm you know. I'm not pregnant. Well, somebody is. It's 
her, innit? Parade begins in five minutes, Mr. Partridge. Oh, wonderful! What a wonderful village. You must be very proud. Ah. All right, Harry. Oh, fine, thanks, Zachy. See you in the beer tent later. First tenor on you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice fella. Nice family. They voted for me in the last election, you know. Even an illiterate can make a cross. Uh, so, uh, whose idea was it to park outside the village and walk in? Is it an idea you approve of? Keeping the cars off the streets. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> it was Eric. What a pair. Ah, we do make a good team. Oh, actually, I was uh, talking to Gloria. Eh? Eh? <laughs> please, please don't say anything, Mum. Diane's asking what you're doing. Tell her, Bob. Tell her to shut up. Bob, the Queen is pregnant. I always thought Philip had a twinkle. Not her, you fool. Katie! Hey, it is none of our business. It's right. But you better keep your mouth shut, Mum. I am relying on you to do the right thing. You're gonna blab, aren't you? I can tell by your face. I hate you sometimes. I will not say a word about Katie. Good. But I want you on the procession with her. Like how? Just muscling past the fairy? Have you never heard of a lady in waiting? She might faint or anything. Now get on that cart. Come on. A few notes in case you need it, Bill. Oh, where would I be without you? <laughs> Is this ever going to start? <laughs> Welcome to the Emmerdale Jubilee celebrations. <laughs> the uh, coronation float will proceed through the village and the Jubilee Queen will be led onto the stage and to be crowned by our Member of Parliament, Mr Harry Partridge, at 2pm. Oh. Push somebody down in. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make a speech here. Katie needs some help. Look, you've got a moving crutch up there. If any of those fairies takes a tumble. Hey, Eric, our bell's on that car. You don't want Zach to go after you, dear. Oh. All right. The sooner we get there, the sooner the bar will open. Yeah. <laughs> That's my best bit. Shouldn't we be at the other end if we've to crown? Uh, where's the car? No cars allowed in the village today, Eric. Your idea. <laughs> Silly me. Save the alcohol! That boy's tongue's hanging out. It's quite revolting. I reckon he's still carrying a torch. Viv? Well, and it's your turn to pass comment. Don't have anything to say? Oh, pull the other one. It's got bells on. When it comes to Katie, I'm sworn to secrecy. Yeah, but what about when it comes to Andy? Come on, what have you heard? Only the patter of tiny feet. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gloria. We we've all come down with this bug. I know. Well, Joseph had it last week. Yeah. So if you could just send our apologies to everyone. OK. Bye. You're disappointed. Couldn't give a toss. Look, Chris, um, I think you should talk to Zoe. Oh, she doesn't leave me blathering on about nothing. Well, don't blow up at me, but I rang the doctor again today. Oh, he's done nothing so far. Well, there's another bloke coming later on today. He's a community psychiatric nurse. A nurse? Well, Chris, we've got to start somewhere. Well, we should pay for someone. This fella is trained to come and talk to people and find out what they need. Why has it always got to be about money? You know, people do die in private hospitals. Money's all I've got. Oh, Chris. Taking more pictures of you than he is of me. You don't mind, dear. 
No, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you did get rid of that thing, didn't you? Yeah. Don't you really get rid of yours? <laughs> Donna, I'm really happy. What are they looking at? You can see straight up your nose. <sighs> Any chance of a swift daft before kick-off? Uh, uh, you go ahead, Harry, please. Help yourself. <laughs> right, he looks at my chain once more. He's supposed to be an MP. He's a man utterly base. I should rename it the House of Commoners. Uh, are you two uh, enjoying yourselves in all your finery, then? <laughs> so far, it's not quite what we were expecting. Yeah, well, seeing as you've uh, dragged it out of me, have you heard the news about it? Katie. Over here, look! Zach, I'm Katie. down here! You're right! <laughs> woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, come on, admit it, Brian. You're dead proud, aren't you? I've quite got into the spirit of the thing. Uh, <laughs> hey, and while Katie's up there, she's out of trouble, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying, Betty, at least while Katie's up there, she's out of trouble. Ah, uh, well, next time I need a prophet, remind me not to ask you, will you? And she's already pregnant. Hello, Brian. What did you say? Now much. Hey, you telling people Katie's up the duff? No, 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 I didn't. I wasn't exactly put it like that. So what are you saying? Hey, just for the record, I'm only the messenger. It's Viv Hope that's the oracle. Is my daughter pregnant? I'm, I'm an old age pensioner, not a midwife. Right, I'll ask her myself then. Hey, hey, Brian, there's a lot of folk about and you don't know anything for sure. Here we go. Brian goes eight in the street again. Shut up, Robert. This is true. Whatever family situation you may have is your business. What matters here is we just get on with the day. Come on. I'm really sorry. You cow! I've been following with a test. You thought it was me? Well, Donna, everyone's looking at me. What am I going to do? Should we jump off and run? No, wait. It's safer up here than it is down there. Well, where's Andy? I can't see him. Right, are there any good films on? We might as well make the most of a day off. You get yourself off, Terry. You must be now. Yeah. It's just not making much sense. I don't want to watch the news. Why? Because it's all my fault. What is? I feel so guilty. It's all too frightening. I don't want to watch it. Now, you listen to me. You're a good person. I'm not. Shut up. I'm your big brother. You bully. What's happening to me? Everything is going to be all right. Do you promise? I just want to be like I was. You will be. Please, help me. I'm so frightened. It's so frightening. I can't stand it. Everyone hates me. I hate myself. We love you. I love you. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. I promise. It's true, is it? Get down, we're going. Andy! I said get down. What's the problem? Don't you even speak to me. She's not well, we're going home, that's it. Katie, I think you better get down. I'm not going anywhere without Andy. Oh, not this again. You haven't heard the worst yet. Oh, come on, Brian, we're only halfway through. She looks all right to me. Get down! No! I'm sick of you pushing and shoving and telling me what to do. And you! What have I said? Do you know everyone's saying she's pregnant? Who is? Who's saying it? She is! Two blue lines. Saw it with my own eyes. Is this true? You stupid little girl! I'm not a 
I'll let him go! Where's Andy? I'll kill him! Thank goodness the MP's not here. Probably be in the frame for paternity. I'll get the band to play. Loudly, Gloria. Come down here, you! It's a bit late for smacking my backside now. He's proud of it. If you don't get down here now, I'm coming up for you! Are you all right? I'm sorry about this, Brian. Oh, stop talking to him, Dad! Stop looking at me like I'm dying! I'm not ill, I'm pregnant! Brave girl. I'd have denied it. What if it was your kid? Come on, let's go home. If it was my kid, which it never would be, I'd want to know all about it. Social worker now, are you? Admit it, this is all about your Donna not getting to do dressy-ups and wearing a silly crown on a bomb sack. That little trollop is an embarrassment to the entire village. Say what you like about me, but I just want what's best for my daughter. Don't we all, you silly mare? Is that why you let yours run off to sea, leaving her baby motherless? You invented bad parenting. There's only one answer to that. Give it your best shot. <laughs> Did I go too far? Oh, hey, not far enough in my opinion. <laughs> you still need a queen? That's my Donna! <laughs> Are you happy now? We didn't want you to find out like this. Liar, you're loving it. We could have gone home. We could have talked about it quietly and sensibly with some kind of flaming dignity. Yo, we tried to, didn't we? But you didn't listen. Yo, you'll have to listen now, all of you. This ain't just some kiddie accident. We love each other and we're happy that we're having a baby. We've planned this for ages. Dad, don't walk away from me. Just leave it. Yo, 